hello guys welcome back to motor rides michael over here now today we're in parklands we are here at uh, uh, shingling motorcycles i'm here with practic uh, we have a new uh, tekken 250 uh, motorcycle here so it's going to give us an overview of the bike what's new what's different is it for the best or what does it think about this so practic over to you uh well first of all mike welcome back again to the new motorcycle it's a pleasure to have you bike back and this is the 2024 model taken okay. yes and uh, this one we have done a lot of changes as per what we learned from our old model we have done try to do some improvements okay. uh let me just list some of them okay. first of all we changed the crash guard here yes. this one because we had to change it because this uh, was blocking the engine in initially okay. so the service was very difficult okay. so we changed it and then it had another issue of the rubber even if you get it, you don't get it locally. Yeah. So we replaced that crash guard because of that. Mm -hmm. And then we gave us another uh, engine protector. Mm -hmm. If you're doing off-roading and all that, so it helps you to protect your engine very nicely. Yeah. And then from there, this bike, you know Africa, yeah. the light is not very easily available. The street lights are not there. So what we have done is we have introduced LED lights, but now the wider version of it. Okay. So before the light, the headlight was too small. Mm -hmm. Even though it was LED, it never used to project the light for the long distance. So this is the improvement we have done, so changing the headlight. Okay. You can see even the headlight we have changed, we have changed the peak. Okay. And we have given it new looks with the new small windscreen. Yeah, I can see that. It looks more sportish. Okay. And then this mudguard, we have replaced it. We have made it a bit higher. Previous model, the mudguard was too low. So when you go on the sand or dust, it used to stuck and the tire used to have a problem in moving. So we have changed all that. And uh, you can see the indicators. We have put very bright indicators. And uh, this one can be seen from far. Before the indicators, they used to come in dark color. So during night, it was not very visible. Even during the day, it was not very visible. The indicators we have changed. We have changed the new panel. Because previous panels they had a problem of LEDs. They used to damage very quickly. So we have changed the panel and made it new design. Now, uh, when I was uh, starting it out there, when I was checking uh, the other videos, I saw the keys also. Different. Yeah, we have changed the keys as well. Uh, this key is now having more distance and more range, uh -huh. and it is more reliable. Uh, okay. Yes, we, we have changed actually what we were, could work. Okay. We have done, in fact, we have put a uh, single charger this time, not double charger, okay. but this one is a uh, fast single fast charger. Okay. Yes, so yes. instead of putting two phones at a time, so this one poor phone will charge really quickly, so you can, uh, it will take less time for charging your phone. Okay. Now, probably viewers would like to know, normally Tekken comes with the side boxes and panniers, so yes. uh, does this also come It with does come with the side panniers. Uh, uh, previously, our Tekken issue was uh, when you put the side boxes or top box, uh -huh. there was very less room for the pillion. Okay. So somebody who was, had to pillion had to be very slim or somebody big pillion like me cannot be even sit on the bike. Okay. So on that also we have worked, we have changed the whole sitting rack. We have changed it, uh -huh. and then now with the top box uh, comes somewhere between here. Yeah. So, so you have a lot of extra uh, sitting space for yeah. 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 That's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So now, uh, if you have to buy this bike uh, as it comes without the top of the uh, side panniers, how much is it? And then when you add all that, so the bike without the boxes currently is going for three twenty five. Yeah, there are no hidden charges, no extra cost, nothing. So everything is includes your registration, everything. In fact, the registration is immediate. We give you the number plate, you just go and drive the bike out. You don't wait for that. And then uh, this uh, with the boxes, the price price come with three forty five thousand. And uh, you can add additional options like you can have a bigger boot if you want. And you can add also the crash card for the lower engine. So that is also an extra additional cost which oh. you can get them at. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So guys, man, this is Mike as I said, Motor Rides. Uh, we like to look at bikes mostly for beginner riders and you know, 250cc, that's a good start. Uh, of course, after of course after some time, you'll always want to upgrade, but starting with a 250cc and this bike has proven itself in Kenyan roads, taken as its name stuck on the ground as one of the good or best, uh, most fact, affordable beginner bikes in Kenya. In yes. fact, as we talk, uh, there's a friend, uh, there's a guy who's doing currently uh, South Africa trip on uh, taken 
Oh, he's currently at Zanzibar uh-huh. and uh, he has a plan of 6 months to do whole Africa continent uh-huh. and uh, we are waiting for that uh, reviews as well and uh, we are already in touch with him okay as we talk so the so far the bike has gone to Zanzibar with no issues nothing yeah in fact what he's done is the oil change that's okay. it even okay. the brake pads and everything is all intact oh nice man so that just proves that this bike is reliable so guys man if you're interested in this kindly uh hit the description below you see the contact or contact us on the screen for particular you can come here view the bike test and get all the information that you need now just one more question in terms of uh uh the power and the torque and the you know in terms of reliability yeah. on the road is it something that you yeah, also have a very good point in yeah. fact uh, the previous engine on we with what we had on this bike was 19 horsepower okay currently we have replaced with the long chain engine but uh, with a uh, instead of re engine we have replaced with the fe engine okay. which produces a, a, a horsepower of 23 Wow. So That's this four horsepower in a big bike doesn't matter but on this small CC 250 bike it will does matter a lot. Okay. So if you are a fan of popping up wheelie and all that uh-huh. this bike is very easy to pop up wheelie and do all that crazy stuff. <laughs>